Has this ever happened to you? You bought a new music book and they're all in numbers. And there's definitely not any instruction behind. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this episode, we'll be giving you a brief explanation on tempo. Let's lay down the basics. In music, there's something called notes, represented with C, D, E, F, G, A, B. C being Do, the first note we always sing. In the numeric scores, or tempo, Do is represented by the number 1, also known as the movable Do. Now, let's look at a very common key, the key of C, usually notated on the top left corner of the score. So with one representing C, the other notes are shown in this way. With that in mind, let's talk about another common key, the key of G. In the key of G, the one will now be moved to G, making it the new Do. For convenience sake, let's move the entire scale around, with G at the very beginning. Starting with G, the scale will sound something like this. Sounds higher, doesn't it? And that's how you play in the key of G. Now let's quickly look at the key of D. With what we just learned, D is now the new Do. A quick move to help you see clearly, shall we? So now, D major will sound something like this. Simple as that. Now let's have a little bit of fun. Let's look at the key of F. Hmm, what should Do be this time? No worries, take your time. That's right, Do will now be moved to F. Of course, there won't be any sharps now. Instead, it will be... And that's how key signature works in tempo. Now, how do we determine how high or low the notes are in tempo? Simple, we use dots. One dot above represents one octave up. Add another dot if you wish to go an octave higher. What about the lower octaves? Simple, you put a dot below. If you really want to go low, add another dot to represent another octave down. Now, let's talk about basic rhythms. In a Tianpu score, crotchets are represented this way. One black note is one number. If you halve the value of the crotchet, you get a quaver, represented like this. A semi-quaver or sixteenth note is represented this way. Basically, the number of notes you see in a normal Western score is exactly reflected on the Tianpu along with the lines. And that's basically how Tianpu works. Anything more complicated than that is another video for another time. So, the next time you see a tempo, do not panic. Just determine the key signature, the tempo, where the do is on your instrument and you're ready to play. Have fun playing! <laughs>